Okay. Put this down. That's ticking on. All right. Um, so in, this is shortest path. Now in 15C.1, you're going to be doing it manually without some sort of algorithm or process. In 15C.2, you're going to try and apply this process. So I've got a couple of examples and they're pretty easy to create. So we can create more questions like this. Just some admin stuff. We will stop at 15C, which means none of 15D will be done. So we'll do 15C1 and 2 today, and we'll have a revision next week. Two revision lessons test this time next week, 168 hours. Be a short, sharp test, because we haven't covered a whole lot, so it's just 14, 15, just those skills with matrices. Um, and I've chatted to the other teachers, they're not keen on handing out a practice test, we just use review set questions. So I can generate some for you as well, like some of this stuff. Um, but let's get into it. So shortest path, that means we want to find what's the quickest way we can get from A to F given these edges have their respective weights, okay? And so if we think of the possible paths, all right, we could go from A to B to C to F, all right, that would be this way, okay, so that's one path, sketch it up here, and that would be 3 plus 3 plus 2. That's a distance of eight, okay? We could go A, B, E, F, all right? So if we go from A to B to E to F, who does C? To, um, that's gonna be a distance of three, four, five, six, seven, okay? So that's a bit faster going that way. And then the last part, A, D, E, F. And that's going to be a distance of 8, 10. And so which is the shortest path? The one that goes A, B, E, F. The one that goes this way. Okay? So that's what we're doing. So we can think about it manually. I think we can understand it manually. That's 15C1. Let's introduce you to the algorithm. Now this, this is will be challenging, okay? So we're trying to get from the start to the finish. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna consider each node and we say what's the quickest way we can get here and hence, what's the distance? So let's consider this node first and there's only one way we can get there. That is from here to here. So that has a distance of two. We're gonna put a little two on that node. And if you like, you can, I might use a different color to so help us out a bit. I'm going to put a 2 there, okay? Let's consider then from here, from this node to this node, okay? We're going from there to there. The quickest we can get there is in 4. And so then we're considering this point here. And we're saying, well, we could go this way or we could go this way. Which way is shorter? All right, because if we go 2 and 5, we've got 7. But if we go 4 and then 2, we've got 6. So if we're going to this point, the quickest way we can get there is by going 6 units. Oh, sorry, so we need another colour. Okay, and we've got to do that to every node. So if we're looking up here, we've travelled, um, the only way we can get there is if we travel the whole way along this length, which is 5. Okay. Then, let's consider this node. So we have another, a number of incoming potentialities, all right? We could go um, this way, okay? That would give us five plus three is eight. We could go this way, which would give us seven. Or we could come through this point, which would give us 10. Okay, so the smallest number out of those was the seven. That's when we go from here down here. So the quickest way to get there is seven. Okay, let's keep going with the rest of the nodes. This one's going to be five. Okay, there's only one way of getting there. That's straight down. Four plus one is five. Then let's consider this point here. And we've got... To get to here, the quickest way is 6, which means to get to here, we could have 8, or we could have 5 plus 3 is 8. Both of them are equidistant, okay? So the path from here to here, or the path...
apart from here to here, they're both eight. So we're gonna put the number eight there, but they're the same distance, okay? And then, excuse me, green. And then we're ready to make the last jump to our finish line, okay? So we, the quickest way to get here is eight, which means if we're following going through this point, it would be nine. The quickest way to get here is only seven units, but if we go from there to the finish line, it's a total of eight, which means the shortest distance we can take is eight, and then we have to remember which way was that. Well, that was from here downwards, and the quickest way to here was through here, so this is the shortest path of eight units. And we could go through and list all of the paths and their lengths, like we've done here, um, but this is the algorithm, and we're getting in the, in the process of the algorithm. Let's do another example of it. So I've drawn up a few. Okay, this one might be a bit easier. So we start and finish. Now, would you like to have a quick go yourself or would you just want to do it together? What do you reckon, Bianca? I have no idea. Well, you have a preference of those two? Do it together or do it yourself? Uh, try it first. Try it first, yep. yep. Does that sound good, boys? So I'll put it up, you can have a quick go and then I'll talk through it nice and slowly. Four, four, two, three. Five, five, two, one. All right, so while you're doing that, I might go cook these uh, brownies, huh? Chuck them in the oven. Are you, are you guys keeping an eye on the clock, by the way? 20, 20 minutes, so what do you reckon that would be? Two, maybe two, uh, 238, we've got there. Okay, so, um, yeah, if we're going here, we've got a distance of five, here four, here six. Okay, now, we won't jump to that one because there's a number of ways we can get there. The next node we should consider is this one. And so we could go this way, which would give us a distance of eight, or we could go this way, which would give us a distance of seven. So seven's gonna be quicker, isn't it? And so then we can answer this note. If we're going to this one, we could go five and then four, which would be nine. So from there to there, nine. Or from here, seven and two is nine. So the quickest way to get there is nine. Either then equidistant that way, or that way, or that way. They're all nine. Okay. Um, now we've got the six here. So then let's consider this note. And if we think about this note, we could go uh, for, uh, from six to three is nine. So along there, that would give us a distance of nine. Or if we, if we came through this point, all right, whichever way we went, that way or that way, we're going to be adding on five, that would take us to 12. So obviously nine is shorter. So that's the, that's the nine going there. And then we're gonna consider the last point. Okay, from, we could go from here to here, which would give us 10. We could go from here to here, which would give us 12. Or from here to here, which would give us 11. So the quickest is 10, and it's this path here. All right, and so... Yes, so that's the path we have. Excellent, well done. So let's, uh, let's get into some of those.